The founder of an aid group helping refugees in Greece has surrendered to police. He was one of several aid workers wanted for helping migrants illegally enter the country. Various NGOs actually facilitate uh, the illegal entrance of uh, immigrants uh, in Greece. We have at least 20,000 uh, illegal immigrants and refugees at the Aegean Islands. Our first location is like right off the coast of Turkey. I've read a little bit about it. I know about the Moria camp, obviously. But the big question now is how are those people getting there? Of course, I assume they're taking little dinghies from Turkey, but they can't be, they're not doing it on their own. Emergency Response Center International. They're, they're really high profile. Two of their senior workers were arrested recently. They're still in prison. And they're looking for this dude. It says in hiding here. Yeah, What's his name? Panos? This is Panos Maratis. And yeah. police have no idea where he is. Um, and neither do we. The police confiscated his WhatsApp and all the WhatsApp members of, his, of the RCI. And they found all of these signals about locations of migrant boats that were coming into Lesbos. There's only one place that could have come from. Right. Probably so traffickers. That's yeah. Trafficking. That ties into yeah. espionage, listening smuggling. into radio signals, smuggling, and money laundering. We don't know where they got that information from. The police have said they've laundered up to $5 million. So basically, all of this, and they're linked to Doctors Without Borders. I mean, they're hugely connected, but it all leads back to Panos. So how are we going to get him? I'm going to reach out to the rest of the RCR members who haven't been arrested and who are still active, see if we can get a connection to him, and then we can maybe arrange a call, maybe a meeting. But I okay. think that's so unlikely, given that he's in hiding from the police. He's well, we can try. We can try. I mean, he... The, the police have already found a few of their other high-profile members. He can't, can't be nowhere. ERCI press, ERCI at the moment are in jail, but it's a permanent Wait, what's He said, at the moment our organisation has been squashed down, uh, most permanent members are in jail and nearly all volunteers have resigned in fear of being arrested. There are very limited people that can represent the organisation and these operate off the record at the moment while they are trying to regroup. ERCI ceased operations in Lesbos until further notice, we knew that, but while we're trying to fight our legal battle there is one at the island available to comment. It said no one at the island no available one. to comment. Uh, no one, okay. Uh, however, we could try and find former volunteers. So That wouldn't be so bad. I'd, yeah. It would be great to just get anyone that worked with them on camera. The very fact that we've got an email from their press department still means we're talking to someone and they've said, give us your WhatsApp number. Okay, so, contact them right away and let's see where we can yeah, go from this. That would be amazing. Even yeah. if we don't get this former person, We've still got the press person, so we can probably... We've got someone person. that is in contact with Panos. Maybe he's even met Panos. Okay, yeah. Yeah. let's do it. Good morning. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is, this is worth it, I promise. So, um, ERCI have WhatsApp, we have been talking to them the past few hours. They've said that we can actually get an interview directly with Panos. Not even on Skype, on the phone, in with person. Panos. In person. Yep, okay. the guy who's behind all of this. So... He's arriving in Mytilene in two hours, which is, he's basically, I've got this shipping okay. app, which they've given me an update to, and they've said that he is here, on the ship here, which is going to come around and go on to Mytilene. So, that's, that's it. Fantastic. But, um, uh, we spoke to his lawyer and he said that there's a, not a warrant out for his arrest, but it's really likely he's going to be arrested. He wants to maybe hand himself into the police before he gets arrested, because that looks better for him. Can we get that on film? We, yeah, but we, well, we can follow him all day. But oh we just need that, that interview so because the police, yeah. apparently the police will be waiting at the ship. So if we can get in there before he gets out, like maybe go and serve I really want to go, but yeah. they might, if you want to follow him, they might recognize me, him and his lawyer. Well, someone who, yeah, well, he, every major leader of every NGO will know who you are because of Italy and all the stuff that's happened. Is security up? Yeah, he said you can do it. He said actually we should probably leave like now yeah. because we want to get there really early, speak to the lawyer and just figure out like a route onto the ship. Because once we get that interview, then... And you're going to George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then that's it. And we'll just tell you, we'll just keep you updated. I'm going to follow this ship. Yeah, this I'll stay app. up. I, I guess I'll just be texting you from here and supporting you however I can. I yeah. wish I could come. But... Okay. I'll make coffee. Okay, cool. <laughs> we'll come back All right, okay, let's see what happens. So, I've 
just gotten off the phone with Kaylin and the guys and they are waiting outside the boat. Apparently there are police everywhere waiting for Panos, but they're going to see if they can find an entrance onto the boat and go to a deck where Panos is waiting and interview him before he's arrested. Our security is super hopeful that he'll be able to get them on. They've got the cameras ready with them and I'm just, <laughs> fingers crossed, we can get this interview with him before he's locked up. <laughs> Quite uh, grave, actually. Uh, espionage, uh, getting access to state secrets, facilitating uh, smuggling and human trafficking, money laundering, forgery, and breach of the uh, telecommunications uh, code. And, and how many how many people have you helped in the in the process? At sea, more than fifty-five thousand people. Yeah, uh, uh, more than uh, six, seven hundred volunteers uh, through the course of the last three years. And a lot of right-wing media saying that you are a human trafficker. I just wanted a very direct response to... We have never facilitated human trafficking. We have never assisted any smuggler. We're quite against it. We're here to save lives and nothing more. They said that uh, we were actually money, money laundering, unknown sums of money. And the press in Greece said like 500 million. And in reality it was uh, 500,000 euro, which if you engage with things, you know it's a small uh, mm. amount of money actually, for three years. Wow. But we were, we were loving it. So I've just gone back to watch some of the footage, the interview we did with Panos, the head of ERCI, and I'm listening to the undercover recording we have now. Panos denied all of these allegations to the police and publicly. He said they were partaking in no money laundering at all, and I'm pretty sure I just heard his lawyers say to us on tape they laundered half a million dollars. I mean, we have, we have to send this to police. This could actually impact the court case. I'm, I'm just also really alarmed here that his lawyer is telling us that laundering half a million dollars is nothing compared to what other NGOs do. This is huge. I. I don't even I don't even believe what I'm listening to right now. Um, I I don't know. Is this is this a one-off thing? We we have a lot more investigating to do on this island. That's for sure.